Greetings to another Let's Play. Now, I will be honest, I did not plan on doing three Let's Plays at the same time, because let's face it, that could be a bit awkward. But I could not wait to get stuck into this game. Um, it's a game I had many years ago, and I loved it to bits. Played it every day until I eventually got rid of it, which I've regretted doing ever since. I recently got my hands on it again, and I couldn't wait to get stuck in. It's a turn-based strategy game. The basic premise is that a new planet, Gallius 4, has been discovered in some reaches of the galaxy, and seven different alien races want to conquer it for various reasons. You choose one of the alien races to play as, and yes, yeah, a turn-based strategy game from there on out. Uh, I've had a few practice runs on it, and I'll be honest, I am not that good. But, you know, um, if I put that on, it will still be a challenge with six different races still against you. 25% difficulty rating, not too difficult, still a challenge, something I can do because I don't want this to last maybe two videos before I get kicked off the planet by the others. Okay, so here's the planet, you can choose the size or make it custom. I'm going to make it custom. I, This is pretty much how I've set to it on my practice runs. Pretty small, large territories, no oceans because I hate oceans. Uh, yeah, don't care about forests that much. Plains, marshes and mountains is the main ones I like, so I've set those to a third each. And you can choose the colours, earth, tropical, martian, icy, dry. They don't really make that big a difference, it's just cosmetic, so let's put it that. Okay, and here are the races. They all have their own advantages, disadvantages and special abilities. Uh, yeah, so you have the Chitchits, who reproduce quickly, build units quickly, but they suck at researching technologies, and since technology is everything in this game, we're not going to be the Chitchits. Sith, their uh, both advantage and disadvantage is that their morale is pretty much always set at 80%. Uh, so the unhappy colonists will refuse to work or fight in battles, but since it'll never dip below 80%, you can do as much awful stuff as you like and they won't care about it, which is great when it comes to taxing the crap out of them. Then you have the humans who pay the most taxes, uh, but they are more susceptible to a Skyranine scandal. Uh, the Skyranine are an eighth alien race that wanted to conquer the planet, but since they refused to sign the pact that all the others signed, they were unable to land. So now they instead run the black market where you can buy and sell resources and technologies and units. Uh, but if your colonists find out about it, they will be pissed off. And the humans are the most likely to find out about it. I don't really use the black market very much, so that doesn't apply a lot. But let's go on to the next one, the morgue. They are the best researchers. They research technologies quickly and they have more technologies available to them, which is great because as I said technology is everything uh, but since they are constantly ill because well basically the morgue want to conquer the planet because it contains the medicine which will cure them uh, but because they're constantly ill they are very susceptible to morale changes which is a bad thing very bad thing and you have the Ray Lu who have ESP which means they can see into all the other territories and all across the map uh, but their infantry and artillery units are much weaker than the others, so yeah. The Tarth. Now the Tarth were my favourites many years ago when I first had the game. Uh, they have the strongest military units and produce the most food, but their spies suck, as you can probably tell. Uh, but since I never use spies anyway, they could be very good for me. Finally, we have the Uva Mosque, who have the best spies in the game since they can camouflage, and they produce the most resources except for food, which the Tarth produce the most of. Uh, but they hate paying taxes, which sucks because I seem to always be short on cash. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to choose any of these races. I'm going to continue doing my favourites. I'm going to be the Tarth, because Tarth are awesome. So now the others choose their races. Okay, so now they choose their landing sites. They choose their. Okay, now I can choose my landing site. You can choose, you can't choose a landing site that's around any of the others. 
So I'm going to choose, I like choosing a plains to start off with because they produce the most food. Which means that's pretty much my only option, we've only got swamps and mountains left, so yeah, they'll do it. And I'll choose their sites. Okay, here we go. Reporting in, Uber General. I will conquer you aliens. Yes, we will. Okay, so here is the world map. You have all the different territories, the other landing sites, and this is our territory. Let's head in. It's a close-up of the territory. You have the city center here, which can produce trade culture, or you can build colonizers, which lets you take over other territories. I'm going to start off by putting culture up to the fullest because you see here this is our morale plus 14 which is great which means they pretty much will never become unhappy which means I can increase taxes yeah get more monies see taxation minus two there's that okay so the first thing we want to do this is our resources here you can see this is food which is going down because Tarth are big hungry boofters so what we're going to do first is build a farm which produces food and wood but we don't really need that right now so we'll put that there oh no not there oh that's our housing we have our housing there which houses the colonists so we can't put the farm there I uh, can see this here that symbol means it produces more food than normal 84 75 oh might as well build it there instead hey let's build a farm here that'll take four turns to build but if we put some there now it'll take one turn to build another thing we want is ah uh, yes surface mine because I always run out of iron and iron is a very common resource that you need so I'm gonna build a mine straight away see these rocky squares here they produce more iron so let's put one there it's gonna take five turns it's gonna take two turns it's gonna take one turn and one more thing to build is a nuclear plant which produces energy these cracked earth bits produce more energy so I'm gonna put it here Put that there. Uh, let's check the morale. See, plus two since I've moved them off there. The culture's not going to be as much, but still plus two. It's going to be done in a turn. That'll be done in two turns. That'll be done in a turn. Alrighty, that looks good to me. Let's end the turn. New farm has been built in Tarth Landing. New nuclear plant has been built in Tarth Landing. Excellent. So now our food and our wood is going up. The surface mine will be done next turn. Um, yeah, the next thing we want is a university which will let us research technologies. Uh, we're going to put that over in the corner there. What have we done? Five turns, two turns, one turn. There we go. Um, we will also build some luxury housing which will let us this territory hold more colonists. See right now it's maximum of 900 which is basically nine of these little dudes. Uh, if we put that, that'll house another 1500 which is excellent. Um, so yeah, aside from that, we're running short on monies, so I think I might as well wait for a turn before, so I can get more. Is that F1 there, one there, let's put that there. Done two turns, excellent, our energy's still going up, okay, let's end the turn. Hey, New university has been, been built in Tarth Landing. New service mine has been built in Tarth Landing. And that's going well, oh, and now the energy is going down since our university is using it up. But we have another colonist. See, so we got one there, we put that there. Still going down, but oh well. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much the beginning of Deadlock Planetary Conquest. I'm running out of time, so I'll leave it there. I'll see you next time when I get a bit more stuck into it. See you then.